Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Sheets and create some dynamic charts. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, Using two things and only two, you can create dynamic charts within Google Sheets. Now, the first thing we're going to need is some data validation. Then we're going to use the data validation to create a dynamic chart. Let's open up a Google Sheets and let's have a look at some raw data. And as you can see here, I have a list of different students and I also have some test results. Let's say that we have maths, English, and ICT or computer science. Now they have grades and what I want my dynamic chart to do is I want to be able to change the name of the student and instantly display their results in a chart. Now the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually create an area within our workbook where we are going to do this data validation. And that's where we're going to select our first cell. Now the area where you are going to put your data validation, that's also where you're going to select the name of the student and that is where you're going to select which chart to display so have it anywhere on the page you'd like to have it and then we're going to click on that cell now once you've got this cell highlighted we're going to go to data and data validation now here we have a number of options now what we want to use is list from range so go ahead and click on that text box and then simply highlight the range you'd like to use for your data validation these are the names of your students now we are not going to show the help text so what we're going to do next is now save this data validation so go ahead and click on save now as you will see there is now a drop down list that we can use to select different names Names. However, there is no chart yet and we are not displaying any information yet. Now the way we're going to do that is by using the function V lookup. Now I briefly discussed VLOOKUP in my previous video where I look at 15 functions in Google Sheets that you need to know, but let's dive into it a bit more and use it to our benefit. Now we're going to look up three different values. The first value we're looking up is the maths results, the second English, and then the final one computer science. So we're going to have to use the VLOOKUP function three times. Now I'll walk you through it and we're going to look at all the different perimeters you have to put in there. Go ahead and select the area in your workbook where you'd like to display your first results, the maths results, we're going to type equals VLOOKUP and open our brackets. Now the first thing you're going to do is what are you looking for? Well, we're looking for a name and we're going to get that name from our data validation. So go ahead and select that cell that we've created earlier and that's a cell where you have your drop down list. We're now going to type comma and next it wants to know where would you like me to look for this information and this is where we're going to highlight the entire range of all results. So go ahead and do that right now. Don't forget to include the names as well. Now if you remember from my previous video, the third perimeter is going to be the actual column that we're looking for. Now we are looking for the maths results. So what we're going to do is we're going to count the columns and then we're going to simply select the correct column. So go ahead and do that right now. We've got one, two, three, and then the fourth column is my maths results. So we're going to type four comma again. And then are we going to use sorted? Well, we're going to leave that at false. Go ahead and close your brackets and tap enter. Now select your first name and you'll see instantly the correct result shows up. We're going to repeat this three times. The only thing we have to change is our actual index column number. So if you remember, we have used four for maths. We're going to use five for English and six for computer science. So go ahead and copy the function into the other two cells and we now have everything we need to start creating our dynamic chart. How do we do this? Very easy. We're going to simply highlight our brand new table that is now next to the raw data and we're going to go to insert. Once you're in this insert menu, you're going to select chart and then using a bar chart or any chart you choose, you can now display this information. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually tweak it a little bit and we're going to change the formatting slightly. So I'm going to use a larger font, I'm going to leave the colors as they are and I'm going to move my chart clearly in the middle of my page. Now let's go ahead and test this. We're going to change the name and let's see if our chart automatically adjusts. We're going to change the name using our drop down box. And as you can see, the results change, but instantly that chart changes as well. So we've now created a dynamic chart that allows us to visualize 
any information or data that we have in our forms. I hope you found this helpful. Scroll down right now. Make sure that you let me know in that comment section below how you're going to use dynamic charts. Are there any other functions that you've used to have dynamic charts? And how are you going to use these? I'd love to start a conversation in the comment section below. And I hope you found this helpful. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, or you won't be notified of our next video. In the meantime, Watch a previous video and I thank you for watching.